Hello everyone, Colin Kanat here for Woodwork Web. Today's project is a little solar lantern and we've dimmed all the lights in here so that you can actually see this lighting uh, and see what it looks like and we'll turn the lights on in a second you'll be able to see what it looks like during the day. But today we're doing sort of a prototype of, uh, of an idea that I had for this uh, and I just wanted to see what it would look like. So that's what we're doing today, uh, a little solar lantern. And there's what the lantern looks like in daylight. It's a, it's a cool little design and I've done some modifications by putting some of these little arms, I'm sure there's a name for them but I don't know what it is, uh, to just give it a little bit more depth. So what I've done is from a piece of paper like this I made a pattern and all I did was cut it out on the eight and a half inch side and from that I've actually made a pattern and I've just made this out of some uh, scrap MDF that I've had around. Now for this I'm using shellac because it dries quickly and it's going to give us the right color that I want for our build. Well the nice thing with shellac is it uh, dries very very quickly. Okay there's our template and this is squared off along here so I'm going to use that to make sure my template is square to the top and now we just need to draw around that my scroll saw needs pretty big holes to put the blade through each time so I'm using a Forstner bit to make a hole. Now I just need to start cutting these out. And this is the reason for the holes. There's all four of our sides and uh, some of the corners are just a little bit rounded so I'm going to clean up the, some of the corners. I like to have the corners nice and square and I'm just going to clean up the corners and do a little bit of sanding because some of the edges are just a little bit on the rough side. Uh, now I found a couple of boards that I can use for the sides of the little lantern. So I'm just going to clean them up now on the jointer. The next thing I need to do is rip these on the table saw and I've already set the fence and I've already set the height. Now while I'm at the table saw I'm going to use this uh, these pieces of black oak, some cutoffs that I've had from some other project. I'm going to use those and cut those and these are going to be one and a quarter inches. And 
And now we're going to cut the corners off to length. Okay, I'm back at the table saw and now I'm going to be cutting the slots for all of the corners and I've changed blades so that I get a good fit. Now when it comes time to gluing the panels and you need to make sure that all of these corners are aligned. So there's two corners there and there's the other two corners there and when they come together they all want to align and if they don't you just need to flip them end to end so that they do all align. Okay, moved ahead a little bit here. Uh, what I've done, you've seen me do this before, I coated the insides of all of these frames uh, just with black felt pen. It just makes a little crisper edge uh, when you're looking at it. And the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm taking this rice paper and I'm just going to glue that rice paper on there and we'll let that dry and then I'll just trim that off. So I'm just using ordinary um, yellow glue on there, nothing special. And we'll just lay that on there like that. Now I'm going to glue my two sides together. And again, I'm just using ordinary ordinary yellow glue and we'll fit in there like that and the other side will fit in there like that and if you remember we cut the tops on the table saw and I just took a piece of that out of there to use as a spacer and all I need to do now is to let that dry and there's a little bit of squeeze out and that's why I wanted to pre-finish. Okay, that's coming along nicely. There's a couple of those. That's dry so we can go on and complete this construction now. And we'll put a bit of glue in those sides and on this side. Okay, let's just go in there like that. Just want to make sure we line those up. Okay, that's looking good. And all we need to do is level these off on the table saw. That'll be easy to do. Uh, and then we'll cut the slots for our cross members. But I think before we do that, we'll actually cut the cross members right now. I'll square off one end, then I'll turn it around and make the final cut. Now the quickest way to balance these is to find the total, so we put this to the end here and measure the total overhang which in this case is actually exactly six and a half inches. So if we measure back half of that which is three and a quarter and make a mark right there that should give us a perfect overhang on each side. Okay, so I've made a template the size of my ends and I found something that I think is going to work just perfect for this and 
I'll just make a template like that. There, now I'll cut that out and I'll put that on each one of those and draw that out and we'll be able to cut that out. Now we're going to make the cuts, the slots, for these pieces to fit in and we're going to nibble away at that so we need to set the blade at the proper height and we're just, I'm just going to start off at an end point right about there and we'll just start off and we'll go all the way around and then we'll start making that slot a little bit bigger. Now what we need to do is we need to mark these tops and we've, of course we've got the other two going the other way. So what I'm going to do now, and I'll have to do it from inside here, I'm going to use my little marking gauge and I'm going to mark on the inside of each one of these and I'm going to take them out and over to the bandsaw and I'll cut out a slot, a half slot inside here. So there's the two, and now we need to put the cross members in and line those up and do the same cutting with those. Okay, there's the same cutaways. Now I've cut away on the bottom of this one. Let's see if they fit in there. Oh, that's perfect. It's uh, a bit snug. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now that that glue is dry, I'm just going to run a bead of glue along the top on each side. And we can put out the plate that will hold the light and that will just sit on there like that. Okay, there's the little brackets. That's all dry. Put that on there. Good. Okay, I just want to do a little bit of finishing now to make this make this wood pop. Well, that concludes uh, making of our little uh, prototype of the little lantern, and it turned out fairly well. There's a few things I'd do differently. I'm not quite sure what I would do with the, the feet here. 
Um, I don't know if they're too long or too short. I haven't decided that. I also think that I, I think I might cap on another one. I think I might put a little cap over top here. But ideally the lantern wants to hang quite high. So it wants to be really up like this so that you can see. And I'll do another shot of that so that you can actually see. Because otherwise you can't see the, the depth of these pieces that are out here. You really need to get a, a sense of the depth of it and when it's higher you can you can see that. But uh, all in all I think it turned out really well and we'll see if we can turn the lights off here. The light is on in here but of course you can't see it with the studio lights on so we'll see if we can turn everything off and maybe we can get a little bit of a glow going here. We've dimmed the, the room as, as uh, dark as we can and you can see there's still quite a bit of light in here but you can actually see it glowing quite nicely uh, and has a nice sheen to it. So the lantern looks great during the day and of course it looks great at night because it's glowing at night and you won't be able to read by it. It's really sort of a background uh, sort of a background light. So uh, really cool little project. Uh, I love the look of it and uh, I think uh, if I make some more, I think I'd make some changes to it. So we'll, uh, we'll maybe do that in the future. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.